Hello everyone, and welcome to my uh, main account series. It's not gonna be anything special, but hey, I just thought, now that this game has like 50 different game modes, where you can play as an Iron Man and stand alone, and then you have another game mode where you can play as an Iron Man, but you can only die once. And then you have a mode where you cannot bank or trade other players, and then now, you also have a game where you stand alone, but you're not really alone because you can invite friends to stand alone with you. So you're basically standing alone together. And then there's there's another one where you can stand alone together, just like the last one, but then you can only die as many times as you have teammates on your team. And then there's there's this game mode where you can do everything that the game has to offer. And it's boring, apparently. <laughs> I already have an account where I have like 2k plus total level, but I haven't played on it in like a year maybe. I kind of quit playing this game and I started playing RS3. So I've missed a lot of updates. Like I don't even know what Below Ice Mountain is. Oh yeah, I remember. That's, 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 that's a new quest. You can probably tell that it's a quest because it's in the quest tab. But I just want to explore the early game of a new account. I've played this game so many different ways. I've played this game as an Iron Man. I have a hardcore Iron Man. I've done so much and I want to experience it all over again and see how far I can get. And I decided to record this. I don't even know if anyone's gonna watch this but it, I guess you are. Hello. I hope you guys enjoy my, my journey. I am gonna be playing this account a lot. I imagine. And the first thing I need to do is get membership, but the second thing is I want to unlock birdhouses. Let's let's do it. Druidic ritual. Uh, I really underestimated how long it would take me to like start snowballing my cash as a regular account. I thought I'd just have like a mill by like hour five, and I have 10k. Okay, so this is gonna be the Night Sword, and I've also done Doric's quest before this. But I didn't think that was interesting enough to show. I don't even think this is interesting enough to show. Why, why are you watching this? <laughs> so this is the last quest I needed to start recruitment drive. But now I need some combat stats because um, I gotta kill something. All of you know what new accounts do for combat stat. Yeah, big surprise, right? Uh, so I died during this quest and it was a pain to get all my items back. I even had to chop regular logs in order to buy a house teleport in order to get here and when I got here I realized that I only died because I'm 10 HP so I had to go all the way back chop some more logs buy an angler fish and come back to get my items and then angler up so I can pass through the fire giants and I only I, I, I did all of that in 15 minutes that's how much of a gamer I am but now we have stats to do recruitment drive you guys don't understand how good it feels to sell something for 16,000 gold pieces, dude. I am literally crying right now. I have so much money. Yep, you guessed it. I died during recruitment drive and uh, I had to take a little bit of a detour to get some HP levels. So yeah, which is house. So believe it or not, I died twice during this quest. First time I died because I had 10 HP, and the second time I died because I hit like five zeros in a row with 26 HP this time. Uh, it was kind of insane. The third time even got me anxious because I, I had already done most of the, the trials, and then if I died there, I would have to do it all over again, but I didn't. I, I got it the third time. Third time's the charm. And the reason I did this quest is because I need 10 herb lore for the dig site, which I need in order to complete Bon Voyage. So right now I'm telling this piece of shit that the plague doesn't exist, even though he already knows that, in order to complete Biohazard. And I forgot to show that I also completed uh, Plague City. I'm just kind of space barring through quests and blasting music. But the reason I did this is because of the f uh, thieving XP. I need 25 th thieving for the dig site. And I'm just kind of questing my, my levels. Because that's an efficient thing to do, and I kind of want to go for a quest cape anyway, so... <laughs> Had to get 15 thieving in order to uh, get a rusted sword for the diary, so fight arena. Uh, is done. Okay, so here we are. I got the arty cape. One. Arty cloak one, I guess. Just got it. It feels like I'm playing Iron Man at this point. I'm just not, this, this is not something you get 
early on as a main account. Well, it is now. Was your cult done? And for the first time ever, I sided with the Majorak. And like, if I actually took the time to read out this quest, I'm sure I would enjoy it because in RS3, like the the quest lines are much bigger. Like, there's there's much more meaning to those little quests like this one. But um. Yeah, I guess I guess I love Zemarek now. Yeah, I completed uh, Tribal Totem too. I, I forgot about the whole YouTube thing. And that is 25 thieving, which is the last requirement I needed to start the dig site. And yep, there it is. Uh, so that's that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna be doing now. The dig site. Let's go. And this will be the dig site quest complete. I can't believe how long it took me to get here. Uh, it's probably because. I haven't played this game in a long time, but everything feels so slow. And this will be the museum quiz thing, Majigger. And uh, look at this place, dude. This place looks really fucking cool in HD. I don't even know why. I, don't, I, I think this is because it's considered as a cave. It's like the lightning is so cool. But look at this. Look at those shadows and the, the fucking glare. On the ground, I'm, I'm, I'm in love. Now, I'm gonna do the most interactive and fun content that this game has to offer, which is cleaning finds with my dude Quasi Crystals. Quasi Crystals. I, I'm probably saying that wrong. By the way, how, how would you guys pronounce my name? I'm curious as to how people are gonna refer to me, if there's anyone watching this. Okay, so this is all done. Uh, so now I just gotta get 22 more. Kudos, I actually thought it was 32 before, but um, I'm, as you can tell, I'm not very good at math. So now we just gotta do like three, maybe four easy quests, and that's gonna be enough to get the 100 kudos we need to complete the Bone Voyage and unlock bird houses. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so the quest just kind of uh, completed. Yeah, Demon Slayer. I got it. And that's Priest and Apparel. And now we have access to Saddle's homeland. After I get some advice, apparently. <laughs> and here we are. Uh, this looks... Creepy? Yeah, I completed this quest just as, uh, as the series I'm watching is showing someone getting their eye poked in by a screwdriver. I don't even know if that's a screwdriver, but it's making me uncomfortable, so yeah, I just pulled up the recorder and now it's it's on top of the scene, so I'm not seeing it, and I hope to not see it, so I'm just going to skip it. Thank you for listening. So I completed all the quests I needed to, so now I just got to tell this guy about stuff I did in the real world since he's never left this uh, room. Like, you need to go outside, Mr. Uh, Historian Minus. And finally, after, what, 8 hours and 9 minutes of playtime, we get to the Fossil Island. I don't know if 8 hours is like the the average time it takes to get here. Probably not, especially on a regular account. I pretty much played the game with like maximum 20k. At any given time. Alright, so I'm setting up the birdhouses. And uh, regular birdhouses should be very underwhelming. But the XP is going to be really nice. And I should get to the to the higher level ones. In no time at all. Especially if I go train Hunter for a little bit. Which I'm considering. So the reason I wanted to unlock birdhouses this soon. This early into the game. It's not even because of efficiency. Because it's, it was really inefficient. The path I took was really, really, really inefficient for, an, for a main account because I could just make money and go do quests with uh, stamina pots and just infinite teleports. But I chose to just go straight for uh, birdhouses and fossil island in general uh, without even making money, just trying to get here as fast as possible. Which, now that I think of it, might have been faster if I made money before, but it, it doesn't matter. I'm here now. It's because I really like the aspect of, like, Doing something for an hour and then coming back, checking your birdhouses, making some money, getting some XP. It just keeps me playing. Since this is a brand new account, like starting out birdhouses really soon is really, really good. Because there are some quests that require hunter levels and uh, I'm just going to get them passively. Along with making a little bit of money, I don't know how much you make from birdhouses. I don't think it's a lot, but um, it should be enough to keep me 
doing something. <laughs> but yeah, my dudes, this is going to be the end of the first episode of the most underwhelming series on YouTube, where I do nothing but play the actual game, if you can call this casually, right? Because I played for eight hours already. This is just the first day. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I hope someone is watching this. If you are, thank you for existing. And if you exist, make sure to leave a like, maybe subscribe. If you want to watch the next episode, uh, maybe comment too, because comments are really good for the algorithm, apparently. <laughs> and yeah, guys, I'll, I'll catch you guys whenever I make the next episode, if it ever happens. Goodbye. Woof.